What's up everyone? Um, building a berm today, so I'll show you some time lapses of building that beast. Um, it was pretty hard figuring out how to fit all three lines going into one berm. So we've got the big line, the medium line, and the small line. And there's three landings all spread apart, and they all have to fit into one berm. Got all the dirt from scraping up all the sides of the jumps because there was a mound there. So, pretty stoked how much dirt we actually got out of that. So that's going to be plenty. So yeah, these two are obviously trick jumps, that's why they're not packed in. So yeah, I'll show you some time lapses of scraping that out. The digger and getting to this stage. Alright, so we got the back padded down. Now I'm just going to start doing a rough shape of it all, shaving it all off and getting the angle right. So, see, this is a bit skinny here, got to fill that in, make it a bit wider, make this bit a bit taller. And yeah, just shaving it all off, get that curve right. Now, this dirt's actually really shitty dirt filled with heaps of grass. As you can see, there's quite a lot of grass in there. So what I'm doing is I'm pretty much digging down and getting all the clay and all the good soil without any weeds or grass in it and then filling it back in with all the shitty dirt. Well there's day one down of the berm. Managed to get most of the way through it. Still needs a lot of cleaning up. Still a lot of work to be done. Make the make it actually smooth, fill in all the little bumps. It's real soft at the moment and real wet, so I need to let it dry out a bit. But yeah. Pretty sick, can't wait to ride it. Alrighty, day two, uh, she's looking pretty good. She's been sitting overnight and she's hardened a little bit. There was quite a few soft patches, but now she's, she's come along good. It's quite, still soft, but you know, that will go rock hard. Yeah, so let's get into it.
So we're nearing the end of the berm at the moment. She's looking pretty good. I don't know if you can see that. Probably looking at the stomach. Um, yeah, it's pretty vert. It's looking good. Just gonna smooth it out. Head off back up the jump line. Still need to smooth all that out. Make that nice. Definitely gonna have to change the angle of that landing. So it comes straight in here. Kind of a bit worried though. Coming off the small line, you're not gonna have that. You still have heaps of speed. Because after, after I jumped that, when it was flat, I used to just roll around here, roll up, and then I'd just make it to the bottom of that landing over there. The one you can see. So I know you have enough speed. Just getting up here, just because it's a small line, all the kind of beginners will just wreck that. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Might make a line around the back. Don't really want to do that. So I'll, we'll figure that out once this is all done. She's taking a while, but she's going to be sick. She's going to be awesome once she's done. Let's get back into it. So we got old Regan over who's been helping build all these jumps. He's pretty much been the main man behind it, me and him. Um, we got him over to test out the berm, see if it was rolling good. And yeah, it's been about a week now since that happened, so the berm's definitely gotten harder over time. Been covering it, but it's been raining a few days, and what's happened is I've grassed, grass seeded all the back of the berm, so that should grow nice and lush over the winter. Should be sick, hold it all together. What I'm gonna do today is pretty much um, finish off the end of it and tidy up the start of the berm and do a bit more brooming so get into it, fill in the cracks. So just finished off the start of the boom, as you can see, she's pretty smooth. What I'm going to do now is uh, create some mud and broom all of this in. So what that will do is fill in all these little cracks here. I've already done this bit about three times because the cracks were about that wide when I first started doing it. As you can see up here, she's still a bit cracked up top because I haven't broomed that in. That's basically what the cracks looked like before I started brooming. So yeah, I'll get on to doing that. That'll make it real nice and glassy and buttery.
As you can see, she's pretty muddy now. And just broom it all in. And there we go, just finished off the berm. She's all done now. Ready to be ridden when I can ride. Had shoulder surgery a few months back, so I'll be able to ride this for at least six months. Kind of gutted about. Looking like butter. <laughs>